<laughs> well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. I am here. I've returned with the milk. The milk is blue, and I love you. Hey, we're doing more Ross reviews today. We're starting off with Ripcord, which is also Whiplash on the channel, one of our Masters members. This will be a full review today. Let's see what, what he's looking for. Let's see. I finished all Lightspeed Bundles. I'm looking for direction of what to do after Lightspeed Bundles. This is a great question. As the Lightspeed Bundles come up, what do we do after them? Beginning of the game, all I heard was Inquisitors are an amazing multi-tool for all aspects of the game. That is not true. Inquisitors are not an amazing multi-tool for all aspects of the game. <laughs> but Inquisitors will get you into a Rise of the Empire Territory Battles Guild that is going for Reva Shards. And then once you get Reva, you got a really nice team on your hands. But they are not an amazing multi-tool for all aspects of the game. No, 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 no. All right, uh, for mods, I've designated mods for each character. I uh, don't entirely know the best way to get them. I was just kind of wondering... That just takes experience. Guys, if you're working on mods, I mean, mods is just a thing where you've got to work through it and you've got to experience it. You have to watch all of my videos. Yeah, these aren't great mods. I'm, I'm going to agree with you. These are, these are not great mods. I'm going to recommend this. I'm going to recommend this for you, Whiplash. Go to swgoh.gg. This is this is the resource. swgoh.gg. Every character in there... Okay, so... I realize you said you're moving mods around, but you said that a while ago. You said that a while. I mean, this has been several, like a week since you asked. Take so these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. I think you deserve this. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power controllers. I might switch out my... First, you've got to fix your mod. I might switch out my entire streaming software. I don't know. I'm, I'm really frustrated with that stuff. So anyway, yeah, uh, you want a speed set on Kylo with, with critical damage and offense, and you want an offense set on Ray with some offense and health built into there. You want as much speed as you can get on Mara Jade, so there's 297, that's okay. So yeah, work on your mods. I, You know you need to work on it, you can watch Mods 101, but swgoh.gg is your best resource. You put the character in there, let's do it, I'll do it for you right now. Let's pull up, let's open up a, a web page. Let's go to swgoh.gg. We're gonna, we're gonna look at, let's just look at triple O here at the very top. We go to triple O. Uh, let me see. This isn't going to be. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So we go to triple O, right here at the very top of his, of the character thing. Best mods. We click on that, and most people are modding for speed and potency with an offense triangle, a potency cross, protection on the circle, speed on the arrow. You can go down a bit more. You can see that fifty six percent of the top one thousand Kyber Gag players are using speed and potency. The next twenty one percent are using health and speed. And you got 5% using speed, which is two non-matching mods on down the road. So speed is the most, excuse me, I don't know what I did here, but speed is the most important thing, followed by your potency. Most people are using an offense triangle. If you don't use offense, they're using protection triangles, potency crosses. Uh, so there you go. Just look on here, swgh.gg. That's how you had to mod everything. And also, of course, watch Mods 101 and my mods playlist. It'll help you a lot. So the questions are, you finished off Ray, you finished off Kylo, you finished off Starkiller. Well, <clears throat> you didn't finish off the bundles here. They're not finished. So when I look at this bundle, as far as... Well, come on, man. This isn't even close to finished. You're not even close to finished. Captain Rex isn't done. And you've got... So <clears throat> let, me get that, let me get that speed off of there. Look, boys and girls, if you bought the Rise of the Empire Lightspeed Bundle, and now you're going to be buying Gas and Geos and Night Sisters and everything else now, this team is a useless team. The only thing this team does is can unlock Palpatine and it can unlock um, Thrawn. Have, have to use it to unlock Thrawn. Without Captain Rex, this team is doing no good for you in any aspect of the game whatsoever. So, get your Captain Rex. And honestly, I know he'll be double shard farmable in a couple of months. I, you should just start farming him every day right now. He's just so important. He takes this team and elevates it. It's just a, such a great team. So, Captain Rex, get him done. You're not you're not done with your Lightspeed Bundles. You haven't done anything with this Rebel Lightspeed Bundle. Let's take a closer look at these Rebels here. And it looked to me, I saw Chewbacca at a low gear level there. So, um, yeah. Yeah, you got some work to do. So, CLS, Chewbacca... I don't see Han Solo, I don't see Chupio, I don't see 3PO, so let's let's take a little closer look and see what else is out there on the roster. Juhani's not in a bundle. Wow, 
Wow, you relic Juhani just for Starkiller? If you're going to do that, you have to have her Omicron. There's a, there's a TW Omicron here. I think it's here. It might be up here, but I think it's wherever it is. Are these bigger now? This feels bigger to me. Maybe I'm just... I don't know. That feels like a bigger... I feel like they made this wider. Anyway. Hey, if you're gonna Relic 3 Juhani, which you did, you need to get that Territory War Omicron. Otherwise, she's not really helping you at all. Like she's doing... So I hope you're farming that Territory War Omicron for her. Because that's a requirement. And since you did that... My goodness. Why not farm some Revens on your roster? I mean... Now, you might want to wait. I mean, we could see a Darth Revan Genet Revan bundles coming out, you know, three months from now. That might be our next set of Lightspeed bundles, but that's one thought I've got. You need to add the Omicron to Juhani. And if we look at Resistance... Oh, you got Z is Zori? Yeah, Zori's already Relic. Okay, good. Get an Omicron on Zori Bliss for Grand Arena. You need that, too. You're a little Omicron poor right now. And you need more Zetas. Ray and Kylo need Zetas. Um... You know, I know you can go without on a few of them, like her basic, this uh, inspiration, you want that inspiration one. I'm telling you, I think these things feel bigger to me. I feel like they used to cut off like right about here. These are definitely bigger. They definitely made these, the, uh, this is definitely bigger. And, and smart because it just felt like so much to read. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, finish off your... I, I like going for all the Zetas on Kylo and Rey. Just don't leave them lacking on any level. Um, <clears throat> if you're going to leave anything out, it'd be their basics. And Kylo has one that just prevents Stagger and prevents him from getting taunt. Press the advantage is not a huge Zeta for him. Um, the Furious Onslaught is a nice Zeta, so you do want to get that. Boy, you got to fix those mods. All right, so let me look through here. I So Juhani was just for Starkiller. Well, you really don't have anything else in the roster than other than Lightspeed Bundles and Thrawn. I'm, I'm going to point to the CLS team. I really think you need to get, since you've got that farming going. <clears throat> I'm going to send you to two places. I'm going to send you to Executor and Jedi Master Luke. Now, if you get the gas bundle, you get the Padme bundle, you get the, um, you know, you get the Geo bundle, the Night Sisters. You start thinking about some stuff from there, too. But, um, you know, as far as Executor, you've already got the Bounty Hunters here, most of them, because you got the Finalizer bundle. So finish your IG-2000. Get your, I hope you're farming Razor Crest and Fleet Arena. Guys, if you're not farming Fleet Arena, or excuse me, Razor Crest and Fleet Arena every single day of your life, you're doing something wrong that's got to be farmed Every day until you get it unlocked. The Razor Crest and Fleet Arena. The same goes for, for General Grievous and Fleet Arena. Or Fleet Arena Shop as well. And then of course, you're, um, let's take a look at your characters here. You're not going to be in good shape for... Okay. So you got to farm Piet. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I want you to farm Piet. I want you to move toward the Executor. You're not going to have TIE Bomber either, are you? Nope. Start farming TIE Bomber every day. Get into Piet. Get him farmed. Get your TIE Fighter finished. You need to go for Executor, and you need to work on Jedi Knight Luke, which goes into Jedi Master Luke. These are the two farms you can work on, and they're two farms that really, I don't I don't think you got Wampa. Yeah. So you need to go unlock Wampa. You need to go unlock Hermit Yoda, um, Rebel Officer Leia Organa, Captain Han Solo. You need to get, so Jedi Knight Luke into Jedi Master Luke is your character path. You're also going to farm up an Imperial Trooper team on your way toward the Executor. So, look at the Executor, look at Jedi Master Luke. These are your next two farming paths for your roster. Now, let me take a look at one thing here, another thing here on your fleets. So, for fleets, I hope that you're in a guild doing Geo Territory Battles. I'm going to guess you'll be able to buy Geos here shortly. Let's take a look. Yep. So, since you're buying bundles, I definitely recommend that Geo Bundle. And get yourself into a Geo Territory Battle Guild, which I hope you're in one already. <clears throat> but you should be using that get two currency you get from Geo Territory Battles to get yourself a Malevolence or a Negotiator. If I look at my Separatists here, boy, your ships are really lacking. Like, there's just nothing on this roster that's not Lightspeed Bundle Farm. I'm going to guess you're a person that's going to buy the Negotiator Bundle and the Gas Bundle. Use your... I mean, I guess you could wait till the next bundles to see if maybe there's going to be a... 
Separatist one? I don't know, man. I don't know what's out there next. I'm crazy that they're offering the things they're offering. So, uh, Executor, <clears throat> Jedi Master Luke, Jedi Knight Luke to Jedi Master Luke. I think those are very clear farms for you. And they're farms that aren't going to be available out there for much. I also do agree that Inquisitors should be on your burner. Like, <clears throat> back burner. I like what you're doing here. Guys, I got something going on today. The Ninth Sister, the Second Sister, the Seventh Sister... Since you're already deep into this as far as as far as stars, I do think you should pursue this. And this maybe should be your number. Now that I've gotten here to the end of it and you asked about it, this should maybe be your number one goal is get these Inquisitors done and get yourself a Grand Inquisitor and get yourself into a rote territory battle guild doing Rising Empire. Um, you're going to miss out on Watt, though, along the way. And I don't think you've got any. I'm going to guess you have zero Watt shards. Zero Watt shards. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I would, I, I think Inquisitors are, would be a great priority for your roster while you're also farming for Executor and Jedi, Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Master Luke. You can do all those things at once. You can shard all three journeys, Grand Inquisitor, Jedi Knight Luke, toward Jedi Master Luke, and, and Executor. You can do them all at the same time, and it won't really impact your roster negatively. Maybe you gear up the Inquisitors first, then you go over to do your CLS team, and, and the, then you get Jedi Knight Luke. And you get to Executor after that, after you got the TIE Bomber and the Razor Crest farm. I think you should be sharding right now for all three of those farms every single day until you get them done. And those are pretty safe farms to look at and, and believe that they're not going to be in Lightspeed Bundles anytime very soon. And uh, yeah, so that's what you should do with your roster. Hopefully that helps you out, man. I love the idea of Inquisitors on here. And uh, congrats on all the Lightspeed Bundles. It's really, it's really interesting to see these rosters that are just completely lightspeed bundle fueled except for Juhani <laughs> and then see the future of those of those because you're going to have gas and G you're going to have a lot of stuff here in the near future so there you go um hey thanks for all the support let me see here let me look over and see if I'm missing anything uh there we go I don't think I missed anything whiplash so there you go boys and girls let's take let's do a couple of spins or a few spins for some free roster reviews now. All right, let's go. Our first spin right now. Hey, if you want to get your name on this wheel, you can go to my Discord right now. The May wheel sign up is open. You go to the May free roster review signups on my Discord. Link in this video. Link to my Discord is in every video I've ever made. And our winner right now is I K R. I got to write that down. I K R. You have won a roster review today. Tell you what, let's just spin them all right now. Let's just spin them all right now. Hang on. We're going to spin... Um, well, you know what? There is no IKR. You know... <laughs> I think IKR was a comment from somebody. <laughs> There's no IKR. Private Peter Pan. All right. You have won a roster review. Private Peter Pan. He doesn't want to age. He doesn't want, does not want to grow up. He does not want to grow up. So... We're going to spin four of these right here. Two more to go after this one. Who's our next wiener right now? It's going to be... X Apophis X. I know you've won one recently. Was it this month? I don't think it was this month. It feels like it was a while ago. So X Apophis X. You have won a roster review. Let's get two more right now. We're going to spin them and we're going to let people know that they've won. There it is. X Apophis X. Who's our next wiener on the wheel today? Major Ranger J. All right, that's a lot of words squeezed together there. Major Ranger J. Final free review on this video today. We're going to spin for it right now. Again, boys and girls, go to my Discord, the May free roster review. Sign up, get your name on this wheel if you're in... If it's May while you're watching this, go to the June free roster review room. There's always a room for the next month for free roster reviews. Star Killer Return. Those are our four reviews today. Let's get into it right now. All right, and here we go with Private Peter Pan. We got Lord Vader. We got Kyber 3. We got Leviathan. This might be a little bit of a flex. Let's see. Kyber 3, though, man. I feel like if you got a roster like this, Executor, Leviathan... Um, we got a five star malevolence, so a six star negotiator. That's interesting. I'm, I'm really a fan of farming them both to completion. Like farm it to completion, then you know, get a finisher, hiding bomber, and vulture droid for sure. And then, of course, marauder. Oh, marauder! Yeah, this is a great fleet. Great, nice. You could finish Rex up there, but this is a, this is a banging fleet. That's a banging fleet there, right now. Yeah, nice. Jabba and Lord Vader and Sith the Turtle and Gas, of course, a Gas and Jedi Knight Luke, and you're only. 
in Kyber 3? What is up, man? I, well, you got Datacron, so you got Darth Bane, and... Do you have Darth Bane? I don't see Darth Bane. I don't think he's on here, but let's, let's sort by Sith. No Darth Bane yet, but we do have Sidious. How... I gotta look at mods. I don't know how this person's in Kyber 3. These are non-Lightspeed Bundle farms. Cat is... Pretty fast for only having health mods. Wow. That's pretty darn fast for only having health mods. Crit chance. I'm not a big fan, but okay. I mean, man, she's fast. That's probably making that Padme team do some nasty, nasty things. Echo, another one here who is... Gonna be pretty fast, not super fast. You should be in You should be in Kyber 2 with this roster, I think. Kyber 2, Kyber 3, probably going back and probably after I get into it, probably just like me, bouncing back and forth between Kyber 2 and Kyber 3. Kyber 2 and Kyber 3 is kind of the old Erodium 2, Erodium 3 now. A lot of people bouncing back and forth in those levels. So look at that Relic 1 Moff Gideon. That's weird. I guess that goes with Padme here. Let's keep going down the roster. I see Darth Malgus. That's pretty hot. Sorties in there, obviously, for Leviathan. Working on Shock T, kinda. There's the Bad Batch. I love those Bad Batch. They're looking hot. With that Marauder in there, your, your negotiator's doing some nice stuff. This will be my new free-to-play account here pretty soon. Uh, we got Inquisitors. This is a stacked roster, my man. I mean, this is a stacked roster. Um, Second Sister is actually... <laughs> I don't know why I gave her the fastest. She's kind of the worst one. Yeah, well, you don't have a Relic 5, so you're not using her for that Reva event. And I think the, the speed order for the Reva event... Tell me if you're work, if the Reva event's going well for you, but I thought it was 7th Sister, then 5th Brother, then 8th Brother, then Grand Inquisitor, and then ninth Sister as far as speed. I could be getting that speed order wrong. But yeah, 2nd Sister, I don't know where you're using her. You might want to look at moving those mods somewhere. Well, it's not really that great. Yeah, I mean... That's not a great mod set. Okay, just leave them there. Who cares? Maybe you're sticking her on like a Lord Vader team? Maybe she goes there. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go. Let's, what's next in this roster? What's happening? I see Biker Scout up there. Or Scout Trooper. I always call her Biker Scout. R2 is there. Okay, I feel like I feel a Leia coming on here. I feel a Galactic Legend Leia brewing in the background of this, of this account. Of this beautiful account. This is a really nice account. It's a well-balanced account. Well, it's not really well-balanced. It's all dark side GLs, but it's a cool account. Hey, are you going to buy any bundles here? Are you going to buy that uh, Night Sister bundle, maybe? Are you going to buy that uh, Geo bundle? Let's take a look at the Geos. Probably not going to buy the Geo bundle. Not going to buy the Gas bundle. Maybe that Night Sister bundle will be a nice little ad here for you. How's the Eternal modded? Speed, huh? How's that working out? I'd love to hear that. You know, generally people mod him for just a bunch of health, but that's kind of a Jedi Master Kenobi counter. Maybe just against other teams, he's better with speed? I don't know. I'd love to hear about it. Darth Revan looks like he's kind of slow. That's okay. That's okay. Your speed mods are okay. So, hey man, this is a nice roster. I don't really know. There's not a lot to really add to it. I do I do get this feeling that you're going after... Uh, where's the Rebel? Rebel, Rebel, Rebel. rebel. So, there's... I use this... I wonder if this is a free-to-play account. Tell me if you're free to play. I'd love to hear it. It kind of looks like a free to play account to me. But you are farming Old Ben and R2. You're kind of farming toward Jedi Knight Luke and Leia. Kind of not. It's kind of kind of weird. Kind of weird. Um. Well, where's Drogon? Drogon's down there, so maybe not. I don't really know where this one's going next. It looks like Leia or Jedi Master Luke, like Jedi Knight Luke. You've already got Jedi Knight Luke. Why not get Jedi Master Luke? Those appear to be the next best farms from what I can see than profundity. Hey, have a good day, Private Peter Pan. Let's uh, let's move on. All right, it's time for X Apophix. Ap I can't say it. You get it. You get the idea. Phoenix Reborn. All right. Another Kyber 3. Another Kyber 3. Kyber 3 is kind of a good little hangout place for a lot of people, self-included. Executors down there. We got the Malevolence. We got the... Let's look at these fleets again. Let's look at these fleets. There's a nice little complete Separatist fleet. There's a decent uh, Galactic Republic fleet. The Marauder, of course, more gear levels in your Bad Batch. Certainly never hurt anybody. But this fleet's looking pretty good with Rex and everybody else in there, too. That's a pretty solid-looking fleet. Let's look at your Empire. Very curious. I probably should have looked at this. Silent, Latin, Latin, 
the scythe on that last account. I'm trying to talk too fast today. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's a nice little Empire fleet, fleet too. It's You could use the Interceptor. You could, you know, obviously use Scythe in there. But you're probably getting some stuff done with that fleet with uh, with, with uh, Thrawn there. Very nice. Luke, Kylo. Another, well, I can't stop. I can't stop, got it. Can't stop, won't stop. What was I looking at? This is what I was looking at. Okay, so a partial bundle purchase on this. But you're not that really, you're not that far off from Ray. BB-8, Holdo, Smuggler, Chewy, Zori, or not even Zori, Resistance Hero Poe, and Rose Tico, Finn, Trooper, I guess you're a little ways away, but that's not a bad, I mean, you're halfway to Ray at this point, so it's not a bad idea to finish her off. Um, uh, what do you guys think of the new Grandmaster Yoda? I kind of like the old one. I don't know. I kind of like the old one. I'm not super excited about it, but I know they're trying to, since, especially since they're going to PC, maybe upgrade the graphics a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, we, I see other bundles as well. Did you get Starkiller? There's Starkiller. Okay. Let's take a look at Mara's. Oh, boy. It's going to be a yawny day, everybody. Sorry. It's raining outside. 370. Yeah, you can use... More speed on Mara would be a great idea for this roster. For sure. For sure. Um, working on Inquisitors there. You got them all farmed. That wouldn't be a bad idea. You got Terran Malakos. Boy, you got a lot of stuff on here. You got... You got I mean, you got... You got Seer Junda, seven stars. You got Maul, seven stars. Boy. I feel a uh, FYF coming on. Hold on. Who was I going to look at? Uh, I saw Commander Ahsoka. I was Sith Empire is going to look at. No Malgus. You got all that other stuff. <laughs> you got Maul not upgraded. You got Terran Malakos not upgraded. You don't have any teams to put them on. And you don't have Malgus here for the... You have a Sith Empire team. I would recommend more levels on your... your more Relic levels on your Sith Empire team. Specifically Revan, Malak, and Bass, Lashan. And go get Malgus, man. I, I, I'm, where's that missing? I'm a little... I feel like there's a disconnect there. I'm not really sure what's going on with that part of the account. Um, you've already got the Executor. Your Sith weren't in great shape. What about the Rogue One for the Profundity? Okay, I, I sense... Hold on. I sense you are working on Profundity. Yes, Profundity is in progress right now. Nice, that's well done. Let's look at those Rebel ships. Make sure you're in good shape over there. Boing, boing. Biston is hard to get your hands on. Biston's Ewing is hard to get your hands on these days, but you got it done. Okay. Okay, Profundity is being actively farmed at the moment on this roster. Other than that, I'm kind of thinking about maybe Hut Cartel and, and Jabba, because you got Jedi Knight Luke. And you haven't really... No, you're not really thinking about Hut Cartel. Maybe. To me, the things that stick out in this account would be your Ray Farm is about half done. Um, your your Hut Cartel, you know, going to get Jabba is not a bad idea. And your Inquisitor Farm is is looking pretty good right now. Those are the things that stick out for me on the roster of what your next farms might be. If I scroll down here, let's see. Can't wait till this is a more F frames per second. That'll be really cool. Um, Ewoks, Sidious, Geos. Well, why tab more is seven stars? I got problems. Okay. Um, also farming Jedi Master Kenobi. Cody, Clone Sergeant. If you're not farming Jedi Master Kenobi, uh, you accidentally farm Jedi Master Kenobi. You got Grievous at Relic 5. You got Madguard Relic... You are right around the corner from Jedi Master. That's what I'd be doing. Where is uh, bo -Katenk? Yeah. I think that Jedi Master Kenobi is your first stop. Then you can look at it at the... And the profundity you're working on. You can look at Inquisitors. We didn't look, look at mods. Sorry about that. Let's look at these mods real quick on SLKR. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of crit damage. I really want to see speed on it. But you do have a lot of speed on there. So it's looking okay. But yeah. Hey, uh, hopefully that helps you out, uh, Apophis. Let's take a look at the next All one. All right, here we are with Major Ranger J. Let's get that timer started. Also known as Loric Avery. I feel like I've seen that name, Loric Avery. Are you in, like on a lot of streams or something? Like I'm not. I don't know. That's interesting. Beskar Mando with Queel, Cara Dune, IG Eleven, or yeah, and Veteran Smuggler Han, who's kind of a tool in the game, really. One point nine million. We have bundles. 
Hey, sorry this the game sound is off because it was doing that weird thing where the uh, the um, uh, bronzium sound just kept going and going and going. So I just turned the sound off. Just FYI. Well, we have a finalizer bundle purchased. I think. Yep, finalizer bundle purchased. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. So you got to be right around the corner from Kylo here, right? There was no finalizer, or no finalizer, though. Do you not have any seven-star capital ships? Hold on. Ah! Oh, breaks the heart and the head. Um, name that movie. All right, so, yeah. Look what you did, Junior! Now you're gonna get it. <laughs> Can't believe what you just did. <laughs> you call this archaeology? <laughs> so, I'm sorry, Major Ranger J. So, um, look. You're working your way toward a seven-star capital ship. Looks like it's going to be Executrix. Once you get that, you get your finalizer. You unlock Kylo. It does look like in the meantime, you're working on a CLS team, which I can applaud you for that. CLS Han Solo, Chewbacca's in there. Now, what about... There's Tupio being farmed. How about your Ewoks? How are they looking? Maybe go get yourself an Ewok. That'll be your next Lightspeed Bundle for you. The Ewok Lightspeed Bundle coming to a store near you in the very near future. Happy May the 4th be with you. So, yeah, I would think that uh, the Ewok Bundle on this account is just going to be boom, smack it down. I'll look forward to seeing that uh, 3PO on the account. So, yeah, I do like the idea. I, I, I think you've got the right path here. You got Kylo underway. You need that seven-star capital ship. In the meantime, you did Commander Luke Skywalker's team. You're farming it up and getting it ready to go. Tremendous work. Tremendous work. Well done there. You need a lot of Zetas there, but that's kind of we're all in, in that position at the moment. If you go back and look at the ships, um, hopefully you're in a Geonosis Territory Battle Guild. I keep saying this all the time. Where you're getting that get-to currency. And uh, yeah, so what I would say here is I think you're well on your way with that finalizer bundle purchase. The executor is not far behind. So I would be sharding for executor every single day on this roster. IG2000, Razor Crest, whenever those shards pop up in the Fleet Arena store. And if we're looking at the TIE Bomber, not farm. Farm the TIE Bomber every day. Guys, guys and girls, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, all my children out there, I bring the blue milk to you so you can understand the game. The Queel node with the TIE Bomber is an absolute drop dead requirement for every early roster in the game. Whether you did the the lights, uh, the lights hyperdrive bundle, whether you bought lightspeed bundles, whatever you did, the TIE Bomber, you have to farm that node at the very beginning of the game. It'll give you an in. It'll get you on your way toward Executor. It's got to be done. TIE Bomber, start sharding for the Executor now. Got it? Shard for the Executor now. Now let's take a look at some mods since we kind of got that farming path. I really like what you've done. It's gonna be it's gonna be CLS, it's gonna be SLKR. That's just and then it should be executor after that. That's what you should be having in your roster. Let's now Kylo's too fast. Maybe he's not. Maybe just defense, health. That's a pretty good mod set. Honestly, for where you are in the game, it's a pretty good mod set. I you don't need the speed arrow on this. I would switch this out with a, a, a health arrow with defense or health on it, you know, or a crit avoidance. That's a nice one on him, too. You don't really, he doesn't need to be that fast. The guy you want fast is Hux. And you want Hux to have a Zeta, which you've got. Hux can just pass Kylo Termi. You know, what you can do is you get Hux fast enough. By the way, you don't need six mods to build. You don't need. You... Mm -mm. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. First, you've got to fix your mods. You only need four speed mods to make a set. There's when you when you open the mods up with this little square right here. Look at the bottom of it. It'll tell you how. So you only need four mods. But you do want Hux to be as fast as possible. He's gonna pass turn meter back to Kylo. Then Kylo can do the stunt at the beginning of the battle. So Hux is more important to have fast than Kylo Ren on mass. Boss, you want with a speed set with a bunch of protection. This is a better better put together set. It looks like you're on the ball. It looks like you're you're farming toward the proper mods. So there you go. Thanks a lot, Major Ranger J. One more. Starkiller has indeed returned on this roster. I mean, I see the I see the little thing up there. What do we call these PFPs? We call them bad badges. It's a badge. 
All right, high ground. Um, we've got a seven star executrix here. I feel a an executor farm. I I, I somehow wait wait. Executor, he's farming executor. Look at that. Now, I want to know: Is this free to play, or did you buy that Star Killer? But I would be surprised if a person came into the game. Now, one point three million though. I don't see a hyperdrive bundle. I feel like this is a very tightly farmed free to play roster. Tight, 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 tight. Name that show. All right. Um, I've got malevolent. I told I, I keep telling you guys, people keep arguing with me. People will continue to say you can't get a good guild with a new account. Um, if you look hard enough, you will find a guild. Maybe not brand new, but you know, somewhere along the way, as you're moving into level 80, when you get to level 85, if you can demonstrate that you're farming geos, did he farm geos? Yeah, not really. So kind of working on geos, but you can get yourself into a Genosis Territory Battles Guild and, and get the malevolence or the, the negotiator on your roster. This is a almost there. Not quite there. This is a little disappointing for me. Shit, I can hold it. Pull up. No, I'm all right. It's it's just a little disappointing. Like, you got a five-star vulture droid and no hyena bomber. This is a partially farm. And by the way, Grievous gear levels just suck here. Like, he's level 85. Gear him up. You know what, guys? In the game, it's the way it is today with, with your raid currency. Gear 7 is pretty much a freebie at this point. You know, and on a character that you're going to be using, like Grievous, and you may not be using him on, on you know, for teams, but the better he is, the better this fleet is. Gear him up! I'm telling you, Gear 7 is just given to you. It's not even hard to get to with everything you can get in the game. You got the ship upgraded, get Grievous upgraded, and go get your Hyena Bomber. Come on, man! Starkiller returned and forgot about his Separatist fleet. Good lord. Alright, so, um... I like your farming here. I love this. I love that you're going for Executor. I think that's a great idea. So this is just, you started a free-to-play account. You said, I'm going to go for Starkiller and Executor. Boom. Done. And that's what you did. It's like, this is such a dialed-in account. A great next Omicron would be Mara Jade for your guild. But if you want to do it for yourself, Wampa would be a great next Omicron for you. I see the Iden Omicron. Well, what's next? I, I, so we're going to do Star Killer, then Executor. What is next on this roster? Well, you can always see that a, a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren farm after you do the Executor is never a bad idea. Just because, well, what should you be sharding right now in this account? Let's talk about it. We got an Iden Versio team. We got some Bounty. You need to get an Imperial Trooper team up and running. You're going to have P at Relic 8. You might as well get a good Imperial Trooper team around them. I see Treya farmed. Uh, I kind of you're kind of working on Visus Mar for Star Killer. I see that Hondo Onaka. Um, boy. Hmm. I don't know what's next in this roster. I guess you could fill out a Treya team. An Imperial Trooper team, a Wampa Omicron. Where am I looking for? Sith. S but you don't have you don't have Nihilus. You don't have Scion. I don't know if it's all that important anymore. But you could have. I'm a little stumped. I'm a little stumped. I'm sure whatever you farm next will be a direct farm, not messing around. I love the fact that you're farming Vandor Chewy on this roster. That's a great idea. Uh, to go with your Dash Rendar team. Because you got some Scoundrels. You got IG-11 and Quill. So maybe you're going to go for that Scoundrel team next. Build up the Dash Rendar team. Maybe you build up the Treya team. Maybe you build up the Iden Versio team. Build up the Imperial Troopers under Veer's teams. Those would be some good core teams to build up while you're working on your next, you know, farm behind you. I definitely think you should get the Geos up to gear 12. If you're in a Geo, Geo guild, which you are, you should be contributing to the guild there. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing these other core, these, not core teams, but... Really good Grand Arena teams, you know, filled out that we just talked about. And then maybe get an RJ Omicron for your guild for Territory Wars. And that's what I think of this roster. Hey, man, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I was glad to return the milk to you. I hope that you all enjoyed it. 
I hope you have a great day. We will see you on the next stream, short, poll, or video, or in Discord. We'll just see you in general. And always remember, Nooch too good.